Hey guys, welcome to my new After Effects video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make search bar animation with After Effects. Let's get started. So friends, after the finished video, I will share all project files for download. First one, let's create solid layer for background. Right mouse, new and solid, add name background, click OK. Then go to FX presets. Search effect fill, select fill. Let's use for this background and change background color to white. Click OK and lock layer. Then go to pen tool and go to here, enable title action save. And let's draw one line. Hold shift, make one point here and one here. Click Session Tool, go to Field and select Known for Close Inside Color, click OK. Go to Stroke and change Stroke Width. OK. Let's close Title Action Save. OK, let's change Quality Full. And let's try change this line, select the Shape Layer. Let's again go to Enable Title Action Save and select Pen Tool. And hold this point, hold shift and move to right. Like this, again click session tool and hold this point, hold shift, move to the left. Okay, that's right. Click session tool and let's select shape layer, change the name line. Okay, so in this time go to shape layers, hold this icon, select this ellipse tool and hold shift make one ellipse click session tool and change name circle then go to fill let's open inside color and select color yellow click ok nice and select circle change so with 10 ok so select the circle and let's move to center like this and move to down. Let's press P and make new passing keyframe and go to 10 keyframe. For shortcut, you can use hold shift press page down in the chamber or click here, right here plus 10. For go to 10 keyframe, click OK. And let's move to up. OK, go to 10 keyframe again. Move to down. Go to again 10 keyframe, move to up, again go to 10 keyframe, move to down, and again move to up, and again go to 10 keyframe, move to down. So there's more keyframes for bones and smooth animation. Let's select keyframes, make easy or click F9. Let's animation. Okay, not bad. So in this time select circle, hold shift press S, click this icon and let's change scale like this, change 40, make scale keyframe and go to here, change scale 100 and select keyframes make easy, let's see, ok that's good. So select the 3 passing keyframe, go to here and let's try move to up. OK, and select this keyframe, move to down, and select this keyframe, let's move the app a little bit, let's see, OK, that's good. So select this last scale keyframe, move to right, OK, very nice. OK, so in this time go to here and go to shape layers, hold this icon, select this run and rectangle tool and let's make shape layer like this okay click session tool go to fill change color to blue okay and say point behind let's move to here anchor point click session tool okay and let's press air chain rotation like this and let's try change scale like this. 
and move to here. Let's open inside. Open contents, rectangle one, rectangle pet one, and click this size icon, change size like this. Okay, let's press S, change scale 100. Okay, let's open it again contents, rectangle one, pet one, and chain size. Okay, let's move to here. Okay, so let's select the shape layer, move to behind circle, and move to inside. Nice. Let's try change stroke width and move to back. Okay, not bad. So, select the shape layer and let's link to circle. Okay. And in this time, let's select the shape layer, let's move right and open inside and make size shape frame. Let's move to right. Let's go to here. Move to right this shape frame and change size zero and go to here change this zero say chain frames make easy let's see okay not bad so select this shape layer let's press p make new passing chain frame go to here and let's move to back like this let's see Okay, very nice. Select chain frames, make easy. Nice. So, select the shape layer and hold shift press R, make rotation chain frame. Let's move to here. Chain rotation like this and go to 10 chain frame, change minus 25 or minus 10 and go to 10 chain frame. Let's try change like this got again 10k frame again chain rotation and again got 10k frame like this okay select chain frames right mouse and easy is let's see nice so let's select the shape layer and move to left and select this rotation chain frames move to left okay very nice so in this time let's go to shape layers hold this icon and let's create again random rectangle tool and let's make one shape layer and click tool chain stroke width 10 okay and let's change fill color let's select yellow okay click okay and change name search search bar okay so let's move right this layer and open inside rectangle one rectangle pet one okay so in this time click this icon and go to here make size shape frame and roughness shape frame and go to back change size like this and change roughness like and circle change again size okay not bad and select shape frames make easy go to graph editor and make smooth graph okay not bad so back to shape frames and Let's select the shape frames, move right and go to here and let's press S, open scale and go to here, make scale shape frame, change scale 0, go to 10 shape frame, change 110, go to again 10 shape frame, change 95, again go to 10 shape frame, change 100. Select scale shape frames, make easy. Let's see. Okay, not bad. 
So, in this time, let's select the search bar and move to here. And let's move to left. Okay, let's try move to right. And move to back. So, in this time, select this circle and press U. And let's make new passing chip frame, new scale chip frame, and go to here. Let's change scale 80 and this 80. And move right here. Let's see. Okay, not bad. Let's work with timing. Select these three frames, move to right, and go to graph editor, and let's select this graph, make smooth graph like this. Okay, back to three frames. Okay, nice. So, select this search bar, press U for C three frames, and select this size and roughness shape frames let's move to left okay let's try change last roughness shape frame for smooth okay nice okay so let's select these last shape frames for this circle and move to left Let's go to graph editor and let's select this graph, move to left and select last three frames, move to left for fast animation, back to three frames, let's see, okay, select last three frames, move right, okay, so, Let's select these three frames, first position and scale three frames. Let's move to left. Okay, not bad. Let's select these three frames, move to left for very fast animation. Okay, not bad. Let's see. Okay, we have problem with three frames. Let's select these three frames, move to left. Okay, not bad. So let's select this source bar layer and go to fill. Let's select inside color. Maybe dark yellow. Okay. Let's click text icon and let's write here motion design. Session tool and move to here. Change color to white. Okay, let's maybe black. Okay, so let's go to FS Presets, search effect word processor, and select this word processor. Let's use for this text layer. And press U for C three frames. And let's cut layer. Okay, select last three frame of right for slow animation. Nice. So, let's back to first three frames, select this 
line and let's go to add and select these trim pads open trim pads one here change end zero make end keyframe go to here change 100 select keyframes make easies let's see okay let's select last keyframe of the right and go to graph editor let's make smooth graph okay back to keyframes and let's select other layers without line and move right okay not bad select this circle and let's cut layer okay select again these layers for better timing okay that's good Okay, not bad. So, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.